is my voice audible to you guys you can unmute you want you can unmute your uh, audio yeah it's audible yeah. karan uh, can you access your video and audio hello we'll wait uh, another 5 uh, minutes and let everyone join the call so i'm just closing my video for a couple of minutes sure definitely you can do that yeah sure Hey Rachel, this is Sumit here. Hi Sumit, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm also fine. So for the workshop, I will need participants that they uh, give access to their video and audio because uh, the workshop will require everyone to talk and uh, be engaged in different activities. if it's possible for you guys uh, i'm also simultaneously working from my office as well so uh, i can share the video but uh, but as far as the conversation is concerned i will try to be engaged as possible sure sure uh, sure during the session okay. sure thank you now we are waiting 5 minutes for everyone to arrive i think i got three four messages like uh, because i think it's a festival season so a lot of people they message they send me a email that uh, they will not be able to access uh today um, more, many of them will join on saturday also so maybe we will have only few numbers today so kuch why don't we shift this session to saturday as a first session because then the engagement will be more sure we will we'll see we'll wait another 3 minutes and we'll see uh, how many people join or we can at least we can because this is an introduction section session so we can talk among us we, i want to learn about you guys your back, background so so even we can it will be we can make it we can do the same thing on saturday again so we'll be, wait another 3 4 minutes and then we'll start Hey Karthik, uh, if I I may ask you, like, uh, how did you hear about this workshop? Uh, I've been following the organization on LinkedIn from quite a while, and okay. I came across your post as well. So that's how I got to know about the workshop. Interesting. How about you, Karan? So Kushal, we are I think connected over LinkedIn. So I saw your post over LinkedIn. Oh, okay. So I think uh, you are you are into sports education, right? Yes, yes. Okay. yes. So you are catering into schools, or uh, you? Yes. Work? Yeah, we work with schools. So right now we are working with thirteen schools. So one is private, and twelve are private schools. Or uh, twelve are government schools. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. So uh, in which state you are catering? So we are in Bihar and Jharkhand. So we work Bihar. in Bihar and Jharkhand. Yeah. Okay, so I also have a sports education company, but my working model is exactly a uh, opposite. We can say we are working with fifteen schools, and every school is a private school. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I think you must be catering to uh, uh, students of age group from third to eight. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, standard one to eight. Ah, uh, secondary. Like uh, if you look at government schools, 
so they have a primary school and then they have a madhyamik school uh, like mm-hmm. secondary school where children will go from first to eighth standard so sure sure I matlab mean, apart from this workshop we can also collaborate working <laughs> yes. joint manner yes. yes. but our we basically we are mo- more into basically providing solutions for nursery to second class okay sure. i think uh, it's 5 minutes on i don't think uh, more people are joining so i'll keep this session a very small one like uh, half an hour session and uh, so that uh, uh, we can talk at least about uh, each other do a little introduction about uh, the sports and how we can use sports to create a social change and also like uh, set our expectations to what we are going to learn during this workshop so so i'll start so so uh, let me just look data from that so the structure of the workshop uh, it will be uh, the maximum it will be will take it forward to four weeks and like each week we will have like one or two sessions where we will learn about different things like uh, right now today we are going to talk about introduction about to what is sports and how we can use sports for social change then we are going to learn about uh, what are different social changes like uh, uh, if you have heard about an agency called uh, united nation they each year each 5 years or 10 years they have their own sustainable development goals so uh, so we will look into what are the un sustainable goals and how we can use sports to create one choose one of the sustainable goals to create an impact uh also we will have different guests uh, we will have guests who are working in different uh, uh who are entrepreneurs who have started their own social enterprise uh, i think we have a new guest uh, if we do i'll just admit to him i'll just let hero join i'll hmm. give it a second yeah hi hero Yeah, my name is Hiren Kothari. Actually, uh, yeah, Hiren. <laughs> sorry, is, yeah. So. That is just a nickname. Oh, okay. Okay. So, do you want? To, can I call you Hiru, or uh, should I call you Hiren? Uh, I'm comfortable with both of them. Okay. Sure. 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 so helen uh, so we have already started talking about today's workshop our number is very less today because because of the festive season uh, i got few emails that uh, many people will not be able to attend uh, so so though we will have this session today and we will keep it very small and today's session uh, we are just uh, just going to introduce what is uh, sports uh, and how we can use sports to create a social change so yeah so in the from uh, like we are going to start uh, to set your expectations correctly about this workshop so what what you should expect from this workshop and what how is the structure going to be in this workshop so looking at the structure so we are going to start uh, and learn about sports for social change what it is then we'll invite different guests who are going to talk about uh, uh, their own enterprise there are a lot of organization in india and outside india and we are their partners and uh, who will teach teach us like how sports uh, how are they using sports to make a social change so if you talk about social change uh, it can be anything like uh, but we basically look into the united nations sustainable development goals uh, which uh, uh, which we target towards and uh, uh, so and uh, after like uh, one or two week of learning about the program uh, we will go into a place where we'll start creating sessions of our own like uh, you will uh, you it's not just a workshop where i'll just be talking and you will be listening you will have to engage all the participants have to engage and not just engage in the webinar you will like uh, you will will i'll give you assignments where you have to go to the ground you have to find children you and if you are passionate about certain social change 
if you want like if you feel that there was some kind of injustice which you want to make a change in the society then we will uh, i will help you to how you can use sports to create that change so this session is going to be a mix of theory and lot of practical uh, aspects of it so that that is the best way to learn by doing so that's what we i believe in and uh, that's what i hope that you guys also want to not just learn it theoretically but also want to go to the ground and uh, start start uh, learn, doing what you are learning so and if because uh, this is uh, i want to let you know that uh, though i have been running a organization from two like almost three years now this is my first time doing this workshop so uh, that is why i have kept it free because i this is like a very uh, experimental thing for me so i'm not i will not be that perfect i'll make a lot of mistakes and i might be going very fast or very slow so you i will appreciate it if you don't understand anything or if you feel uh, that uh, uh, that uh, it's like uh, it's not interesting or boring so you guys can stop me and let let me know so i can i can the your feedback will be very useful and i can use your feedback to improve on this workshop and i don't want you guys to think that this is like uh, that i'm go i'm the only one who's going to speak if you have anything to say because i want this to be a very engaging process and a good learning experience for all of us so i think uh, i have given you a brief a little bit brief about uh, uh, what the structure is going to be and uh, the expectations like it, it has to be a two way engagement uh, there is there are going to be assignments and there are going to be uh activities which uh, you need to be involved with so and uh, so and the, i think the question that you will i think you will have like what you are going to learn how is it going to help in your life i'm sure like all of you who have joined here are a big fan of sports and you want to make a career or do something in sports so i i can assure you if you are in this workshop till the end uh, like after uh, till the end of the sessions uh, it is going to help you a lot like uh, because i came into this field uh, after working in corporate for 6 years and then i jumped into this field when i am like now 30 31 years old but you guys are young and if you and this is a very new field sports for development and sports for social change so if you take a step right now and if you learn about this and you start doing something i am sure that uh, you can take few step forwards in making a career in sports you are going to learn uh, about uh, uh, you are going to give you will get an opportunity to network uh, with lot of uh, different entrepreneurs uh, and also you will learn lot of life skills and lot of soft skills because uh, you will have to go and engage uh, you will have to go and engage with children that would be also a great opportunity uh, because uh, even because like our education system never never encourages us to do lot of practical things so so i'm sure like i'm not sure uh, uh, how many of you would have actually uh, worked with children or uh, or engaged uh, with uh, different uh, or you have actually have done some kind of work but uh, through this workshop uh, and uh, by engaging with children you are going to learn a lot of uh, soft school skills and we are also going to Uh, give you some curriculum and uh, give you some training and how you can improve working with children and improve your soft skills uh and finally the one of the things that you learn is entrepreneurship skills so i'm not just going to teach you what is sports for social change i'm going to teach everything that i have learned in last 3 years as a entrepreneur so like i i would like if even if you like if you are sitting there and like if you have two days uh, in a week if you are free so you i i can teach you some new ways that you can start your own enterprise you can start your own organization with zero uh, uh with zero investment so that's what that's how i started i like when i started i didn't uh, it was just an idea i worked for a, i went to a community i went to schools and i worked for free for 6 months and then people started approaching me oh you, your program is very good it's helping the children so then i started the organization so i'm sure that um, so if you want if you have uh, uh, 
uh, a drill or if you are ambitious about starting something of your own or if you just want to do this because you are passionate about sports uh, this this workshop is going to help you uh, to to at least take few steps towards uh, starting your sports uh, uh, career so uh, so that's that's uh, that's the thing about workshop so moving forward i am going to give you a brief introduction about uh, myself and uh, monkey sports and then i expect uh, that uh, you guys also will uh, say a few things about yourself so that uh, that i can learn uh, more about you and so i can which will help me to customize the workshop and make it more uh, accommodatable for it for it for you so do you guys have any question till now do you, do you want to ask anything uh, you can unmute and you can say yes or no and we can move forward no i'm good so, so what are you going to learn or what are you going to discuss in today's workshop today is just an introduction topic? today is just an introduction okay. i'm going to i'm going to introduce myself i'm going to introduce uh, you're going to introduce yourself and then i'm going to just talk a little bit about uh, i'm going to talk about monkey sports and all the programs where you will learn how sports can be used for creating a social change um, i would also like to learn about your program which you told which you done for first 6 months for free definitely so definitely. what was yeah. that program and what impact did that make i would like Yeah, definitely definitely we uh, because it's it's going to be very very lengthy and it's going to be very brainstorming session so when you start doing because we will have i'll not i'm not going to leave you so so you will have to like uh, create your own logic model you have to i will make you write down pen down your ideas so so that you can structure your thoughts and uh, so that you can create your own program so because i have been i have gone through that same process so 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 it will come so be patient and uh, yeah yeah sure thank you yeah, yeah. karan uh, sumit uh, do you guys have any questions or uh, do you want me to move forward i think karan just sent a message Okay. So, uh, shall I am just leaving for fifteen minutes? Just getting an emergency back home. Sure. I'm joining. Sure. I'm just off. Will be for. I mean, I will be fifteen minutes. Sure. Sure. Sumit, are you there? I think he is busy. Uh, to something else. So, so I'll, I'll start and I'll. Uh, Uh, give a brief introduction about myself so so my name is kushal agrawal and uh, and uh, i am the founder and director of an organization called monkey sports so monkey sports uh, was established in 2018 and uh, we are operating in the area of uh, bihar and jharkhand and we use sports as a medium to improve children's children's mental and physical well being so before starting uh, monkey sports i had worked in a corporate for 6 years uh but uh, it was a boring job for me and uh, and i wanted to do something more uh, that is why i decided to quit and then pursue my masters in sports management from springfield college in usa so while i was in us and uh, i came back for 3 months for an internship i got an opportunity to to do a volunteer uh, and intern with a organization called magic bus so magic bus is the first organization that brought the concept of sports for development program in india so that's how i got introduced to this program uh, how we can use sports to create a social change through magic bus and then from that time i became very passionate about this topic because i i love sports and uh, and i could see that it could actually sports could be used in such a beneficial way and that uh, created a way for me so after coming back from usa uh, in 2018 that uh, that uh, that i started monkey sports i because uh, i didn't know many people so i thought i'll just try out the idea so i went to a government school i went to a private school and i started working there uh, for free for first 6 months i'll just go there i'll just talk to the principal and i'll tell that i want to because i 
I didn't have much experience, so no one was going to give me money to do a program. So I went there and I just started working for them for them for free for six months. So so that gave me a lot of exposure and it also get, helped me build a lot of network. And uh, after six months, so that I got my first uh, school, uh, working in a private school and then again four government school in Patna. So that's uh, that slow steps from then now currently uh, we are working with total of 13 schools and total of 800 plus children. And we have partnered with uh, an international NGO called Coaches Across Continent. And even in India, we have partnered with government organization called uh, Jharkhand Education Board. And, uh, and also the Plan International. And we have done some work with UNICEF. So, so that's a brief idea about me and uh, Monkey Sports. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, so if you, any of you guys would like to uh, tell me a uh, brief about you, tell me you, like uh, what you do and how, mot what motivates you to join this workshop and how, what, how much, uh, tell me your interest about sports. Tell me like whatever you think is useful. Sure. So uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Karthik. And I'm a BCom honors graduate from Sri Ram College of Commerce. Post my graduation, I started working at Genpact in the finance department. But like similar to your story, it was quite boring. I didn't enjoy working there for you know long period of time. I didn't see myself building a career in the field of finance. So it was during that time that you know I started looking into different industries and different verticals where I could you know possibly work. And being a sports person, I always had this soft corner towards sports. So I you know, started reading more about the business side of sports. I started exploring different verticals which are out there. And I eventually decided to quit my job in finance and you know go full in into the sports industry. And the reason why this workshop, uh, this workshop is like you know important for me is because while I was growing up, I used to play football. I still do. But, you know, during that time, I wanted to pursue it as a career, as a professional career, because of a lot of factors, you know, lack of information, infrastructure, financial issues, and, you know, many other factors. I could not realistically pursue football as a career. So uh, I just feel that all the problems that I went through when I was growing up, you know, had this dream of being a professional footballer. I just don't want that, you know, the coming generation or, you know, whosoever wants to pursue a career in sports is you know, not able to do so because of X, Y, Z reasons. So that is one of the reasons why I want to, you know, understand how you could actually create an impact through sports and eventually help a lot of people. And it's been over 10 months since I've been working in the sports industry, even though I'm not directly working uh, towards sports for development, I'm more into the research and marketing side. But mm -hmm. like I'm gaining skills as I'm going along and I'm learning a lot of things in the industry. And eventually I feel that, you know, I would be able to give back to the industry once I've, you know, gained sufficient skills. And hopefully through this workshop, I'd, you know, get a lot of insights about uh, the social aspect of sports industry. Sure. Sure. If you don't mind me asking, uh, where are you working currently? I'm currently interning with Marwa Sports. Okay. Uh, it's based in Bombay. Uh, sure. So you are in the marketing department, uh, like social media and marketing? No, no. So currently I'm writing a research paper, which oh, okay. is also affiliated with GISB for the for this particular project. Uh -huh. I'm working on this uh, paper, which talks about fan engagement and how oh. it could possibly impact uh, you know, uh, the sponsors of different teams. Oh, wow. That's, that's very interesting, Karthik. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Hiren, do you want to share something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I started my journey being a cricket fan since since I was, you can say, four or five years old. I okay. used to watch cricket daily, day in and day out. I used to play cricket. I used to watch cricket. I used to read cricket. So, until now, I am doing the same thing. Uh, I started... Uh, my, uh, you could say, I graduated in BMS, Master of Management Studies, okay. a Bachelor of Management Studies, okay. and uh, 
did a job for two years in Godrej and Boys Industries in e-commerce mm-hmm. department. So sports was always my favorite zone, you could say. But I never worked or never looked into it as uh, as a full time career. But now I think I could do something good in sports because that interests me the most. So I thought I could do something related to sports, which could bring a change in someone's okay. life. Okay. So I also looked at uh, BCCI. So I thought I could do a role some somewhat in cricket. So I applied in BCCI sports, but yeah. it got rejected due to poor, <laughs> you could say, work experience. I yeah. I'm still a new in this uh, working industry. Yeah. And I left my job in Godrej in August. Uh, mm. Because I wanted to pursue MMS. Recently, mm. I gave an exam uh, of, of Maharashtra CET and I oh, scored okay. 99%. Oh, wow. uh, result. Yeah, so I left my job and currently I'm waiting for uh, the university to start the admission process. Mm-hmm. They stated that they would do in September or October, mm. but still no update from their end <clears> as usual. <throat> <you know, throat> how they work. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought I would do something related to sports meanwhile and could see if I could bring a change in sports and I came across your profile from LinkedIn so I yeah. thought let me see I could yeah. learn something and do something related yeah. to sports while I am mastering in my management studies oh, so okay. I thought this would be a great mix for me while yeah. this two years while studying I could yeah. see if uh, I could develop. I could develop an interest in sports and look as a full-time career in some sports industry. Okay. Wow. I am here to see what I could learn and do uh, as a potential candidate in sports. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Karan is not there. Uh, uh, Karan, I think is is going is not going to be there for fifteen minutes. And I think uh, Sumit is there. Yeah, I'm there. Let me start my camera. Do first. you want to share something, Sumit? Yeah, so basically I will keep it uh, short and sweet. So basically myself, Sumit Gupta from Mumbai. And uh, I'm into corporates. Uh, I've been working with corporates for more than 17 plus years. And uh, I do have my sports company just uh, just like uh, Kushal has, uh, but that is still to fly. We are into collaboration with a number of sports companies in Mumbai, uh, Australia, and USA, but uh, we are at a very nascent stage at this, this point of time. Okay, and uh, I'm also a part of uh, management for Cricket Council USA, so we are promoting cricket in USA as well. So every December, I go there to for a tournament which is just like IPL, IPL and uh, that is uh, ninth or tenth in the world. If you Google CCUSA, you will get to know uh, uh, why I came to this workshop. Right, this is the question. So basically, the topic stuck me: uh, sports for social change. So I would like to understand everyone's perspective on this topic and uh, try to learn and try to uh, use my expertise and my experience as well. Uh, while in different sessions, I will, I will, I would like. Uh, Kushal to uh, give me a chance to speak. So I will share my experience as well at later stage. So this is this is a short and sweet introduction. So uh, again, uh, Hirendra, I think uh, you said that uh, you have applied for BCCI, right? Correct, correct. I applied uh, so, from... Right? So what, for what post you have applied? Uh, it was last year in September, I guess. And for mm-hmm. somewhat... Uh, operational manager some kind of post operations so i was i am working in operations department so mm-hmm. i thought i could give it a try if i could get a chance to talk with them or kind of interview with them so i could know better and great, how could I- great. so this is a great platform i would say and uh, the topic which kushal has uh, chosen to introduce to us and uh, go deep dive into the details of his experience and how he has used his entrepreneurial journey 
to make it happen that would be very interesting so i am looking forward uh, kushal for uh, uh, more insights and uh, which i can use in my expertise uh, as well uh, yeah. thank you sumit uh, it was uh, a great to know that uh, you have such a vast experience of working in corporate and then i didn't know that you were engaged with this the us cricket council and organizing this tournaments that's very nice to hear i'm sure that our all our participants will also have a great opportunity to learn from you because sure. uh, that's uh, Sorry very to can i can i talk yeah sure sure yeah uh, can you tell me your name uh, can you tell me the name of your company uh, so my my, co- my company name is khel kida so uh, yeah again again if you search on uh, search on net or search on google uh, uh, the website is not yet up to be very frank okay so okay. Uh, okay. so it's at thank a very nascent stage okay yeah, yeah back to you kushal thank you yeah. yeah so i think karan is not there so so we have finished our small introduction uh, about ourselves and now i'll we'll talk about uh, sports and sports for social change uh, what 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 do i do so let me first start will giving you a very uh, uh, a line uh, give you a line how to differentiate between sports in usual sense and sports for social change so like in the work that i do uh, where we use sports to improve a player's performance like uh, hiren you like cricket and kartik you are a fan of football so if you are using your skills to improve like if you are working somewhere and you are working with children and you are using providing with them technical skills just as how how you hit the ball or how how you can take a good shot how you can pass or in cricket how how to how to how to how to bowl how to spin so that comes in the field of sports for excellence which means is that you are using sports to excel make a person excel in that particular sports that is why we call it sports for excellence and on the other hand we have sport for development or sports for creating a social impact so that that is a very that is a new field and it's like a very creative field because you are combining two things sports and social change and why this because sports everyone loves sports children love sports adult loves sports sports like uh, sports is a great entertainment even and this concept was is a long back it was introduced by uh, nelson mandela so if you have heard about uh, the apartheid uh, which happened in south africa between the problem with, between black and white people so he used uh, nelson mandela used rugby and sports to to make or to make white and black people come together to see and see south africa as a nation uh, where uh, both of their, them can live together equally so sports is a because uh, cricket uh, let me talk in time, terms of just a game sports itself sports if you talk about cricket or if you talk about uh, football it both are team sports you cannot just individually perform by yourself and you cannot win the tournament or you cannot win a game so that's that's why sports has become such a big tool that a humanitarian cause that it can create such a big change because by itself by its by its own nature when you are engaged in play that you become a better team member you understand like okay like when you are playing football you understand okay i am good i am good as a defend i'm good, i can do good defense by i can pass the ball to someone who is good at something else so so you realize your what is what is your strength you understand what are your weaknesses so you become a better team member so that's uh, that's why uh, sports has become such a big tool uh, to create a social change so let me give you a brief uh, uh, idea uh, of all the work that we are doing uh, and for that i'm going to share my screen and i'm going to walk you over through uh, through my website and i'm going to talk about the five six different kind of program we are currently doing and if you and in the meanwhile if you have any question then you can you can stop me you can and you can ask me any questions so uh, let me share my screen with you first
can you guys see my screen yes yeah 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 uh, did you guys had a chance to go through uh, the website on the monkey sports website yeah i've gone through it yeah so we are currently running six different kind of programs the first program is is sports for all so so let me tell you what this program is about so i'm sure like uh, you guys when you went to school uh, there you are, you have been engaged in sports but i'm sure that not definitely not everyone was involved in sports it could be because of several reasons like uh, girls might not be engaged because might be the ground was very small so they might be engaged in indoor activity or they or they or they may be like guys who are better at sports so they would be on the ground and a lot of children who even want to play they do not get that space because uh, uh, you, the school does not have the space or uh, or uh, there is no encouragement from the schools to uh, engage children in different kind of sports so our programs through our program sports for all program uh, we make sure that each and every child participates in sports because we don't see sports as something that you can become a sports person because sports is a basic need even world health organization recommends that everyone should be engaged in physical activity for 1 hour each day so and it's a research which shows that children who are engaged during childhood they are going to be more active when they grow up so uh, so they will have less chronic diseases they will not suffer from uh, diabetes they will not suffer from uh, thyroid there are a lot of different problems which comes because of physical inactivity so so this becomes a social cause then because through my this program what i'm making in sure that each and every child in school engages in sports whether it's a female whether it's a man whether it's a disabled child maybe it's a blind child maybe cannot walk so we have to make our sports in such a way that uh, everyone gets a chance to participate because sports is not just as i have mentioned to you it's not just for uh, making you a sports player but it's required to for the holistic development of a child so does it make sense to you guys or uh, uh, is it uh, little complicated does it make sense what i'm trying to say so i have a small query since initially you mentioned that you know if you're teaching a kid how to kick a ball how to throw a ball yeah. that basically falls into the excellence category not yeah. in the development category yeah but uh, like my question is like even though you're teaching a kid how to kick a ball how to throw a ball there are other mm -hmm. soft skills that that you know that particular kid might learn while mm -hmm. playing that particular sport like for example yeah. team spirit communication <laughs> yeah. skills so how does that not fall into the social category because eventually the kid will also learn all these traits definitely definitely your point is uh, very valid karthik and i agree that uh, uh, agree i agree with you that uh, there are a lot of uh, soft skills that a, anyone learns while they engage in sports but the, but if you look from the perspective from like as a social someone who works in the social field like sports itself is also a mirror of society so if you look uh, like if you i'm sure that if you have engaged in sports then you might be aware that the engagement of sports for girls and the engagement of girls for boys so if you if like as as someone who is working in the field of sports for social change i want to ensure that uh, that uh, when i am engaging children in sports that that social uh, problems which exist in the society does not exist in my program that if there are 25 children in the program so what i do uh, in the program is that make sports or change the rule in such a way that uh, it becomes equal for both guys and girls uh, to participate equally and to win equally to make it more accessible for everyone to engage in the game and uh, and make it more engaging for everyone so the soft skill part of it i definitely agree with you that uh, that even if through sports for excellence that you can learn 
a lot of soft skills as you to learn because i'm sure even when you guys are not about aware about social change mm -hmm. uh, uh this aspect of it comes into it but when i talk about sports for uh, uh, sports for all i am not saying uh, like uh, that i'm even if i'm teaching them basic skills how to play what i'm ensuring is that there is equality equal representation or uh, uh, making it accessible that that's what our program is doing the sports for all so if like uh, and uh, and it requires some very minor tweaks and that's how uh, this program works the sports for all program so uh, so does is it making sense to you does it make no, sense it makes sense now it makes sense yeah. Hiran, for you, does it make sense to you? Is it? Uh... Yeah, yeah, it makes sense for me because uh, I could see the cause over here that you are trying to uh, you can try, we are trying to reduce the gap between the girls and the boys and trying uh, to make the sports yeah. common for all of them mm -hmm. in. Yeah. in in any school, or you could say anywhere, where yeah. there yeah. would be communication between yeah. both, yeah. Yeah. and both could have the passion to pursue any kind of sport they want to. Yeah, yeah. true, yeah. true, true. true. Uh, let me give you an example. I think it will make better sense. Let's take an example of football. So okay. let's say I go to a class, I go to a school, and I bring twenty people. Ten are guys and ten are girls. And if I ask them to play football. I'm sure that the girls will stop liking it, right? Because what they will guys will be play hard, they'll push and uh, they will do things like this, which will make it difficult. And after maybe one week or two weeks, the girls will stop playing the game because uh, because of various reasons. Or uh, maybe they will play. I'm not. I do not want to generalize this, uh, but uh, uh, it is possible. So what? Let's. Uh, so that is a general scenario. So now when I come into picture or my organization come into picture. Sports for all. What I do, I change the role of the game. What I'll do, I'll say there is no pushing allowed. You cannot physical contact is not allowed. So I'll change the rules of the game, and or and I'll change that uh, that that's uh, that you can play only below your knees or uh, so, and you can cannot hit the ball too hard. So that what it does, it makes it more accessible for everyone to engage together. So so. So that that's the difference. So I'm not teaching anyone uh, that you become an excellent player, that you become like wow, that you are the best. I'm not teaching them skills. I'm just making them play. I'm making through this program sports for all. I'm trying to make every child play, and uh, that's in itself is a cause for social change. So what I would like to share is uh, during my childhood. So not even my childhood, even today. Uh, we used to play cricket daily. Okay, so even today I have plans to play play cricket after five. Okay, so the uh, during we used to play in our society. So we used to play mix boys and girls, maybe football mm -hmm. or maybe cricket or maybe badminton. Mm -hmm. So during that time also I saw that uh, girls when we used to play we used to take our bat and we used to bat first, and mm -hmm. the girls bat last. Mm -hmm. So we used to uh, have a girl. Uh, whose brother did not play any sport, and okay. she was the one who used to play cricket, football, anything. So yeah. She used to play bat, uh, better than some of the boys at okay. her age. So okay. we used to send her up to bat or yeah. to field or yeah. to bowl, then the other boys at her age. Okay. So we used to involve all of them while playing, and I could see that uh, that could be a difference. And what you're trying to do here is to reduce the gap and let yeah. every there. That was yeah. a main motive. Correct. Yeah. Making it more accessible, and it's correct. not just India. Uh, it's everywhere. Like uh, even I was just doing uh, reading about it in a study. Like uh, half the female participants in United States also they leave uh, all sports after they turn like 16 or 15 years of old. So there is a there are a lot of intervention uh, in India and everyone. So they want to. Uh, children to play continuously, and there are a lot of reasons for this. That uh, girls, or even like a lot of disabled, uh, differently abled children, they leave sports because there is no uh, accessibility. Uh, how do you make it more accessible for everyone to be engaged in sports? Yeah, 
also i came across the female cricket if you have heard i don't know this is mm-hmm. part of the female cricket mm-hmm. and under i found him on linkedin so i also posted him that he was also trying to bring a change in female cricket in india uh-huh. Uh-huh. and and try to do what <clears throat> what could help the female cricket to mm-hmm. take it to another level mm-hmm. so maybe we could see that uh, female cricket will also gain more respect in the coming mm-hmm. time maybe this is about cricket there will be other sports also where female could take charge mm-hmm. i'm not sure about that right as of now definitely so should i pro- i sh- should i proceed uh, to a different program yeah 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 so i'll i'll talk about three programs today because we don't have many people so i'll talk about three programs so i'll start with this one sports for awareness the yeah, one of our another program so here we sports for awareness is that we use sports as a medium to raise awareness about different issues so it can be about climate change it can be about gender inequality it can be about uh, 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 health it can be about uh, uh, like uh, if you want to teach children about good touch bad touch so if you can see it here so we you, there is one side we have sports and then we have here is a social cause or awareness we want to talk about and then we combine both of them so we'll create games in such a way that uh, through a method of experiential learning we teach children uh, and raise awareness about different topics so like uh, in this what we do we create songs like here if you can see uh, i'll not play this but uh, here like we have created a song where we teach children about uh, world health organization recommended 20 seconds hand wash technique so what happen why 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 is this important that's very important to you to learn because uh, uh, like uh, i'll give you an example which makes a lot of sense uh, like but actually at, at least to me uh, that like when you go to a class and just sl- sit in the class and listen to your lecture so you will not i'm sure that you will not grasp that much but if you are a part of a process we where you are involved in experiential learning that you learn by experiencing something then you will never forget that kind of thing so sports has that uh, uh, tool that it gives you that experiential thing that uh, if the, this i'm just saying this 20 second hand wash technique if i would have told children do this do that i'm sure they would not have remembered this but after playing this after doing this song they have remembered this for life they will remember this for life so that's what experiential learning do to you so this is just one way that how we do it uh, and we are going to learn uh, because this is this is going to go in a lot of details right now i'm going to giving you a brief but uh, as we go dive into the workshop uh, i will ask you guys uh, use your own brain uh, you brainstorm we are going to sit and brainstorm we are you are going to pick your own social cause and we i'm going to ask you how you are going to teach children about uh, that social issue using sports how will you design the game So, so right now i'm giving just a brief introduction but as we dive into more uh, we're going to talk more about uh, about this program okay so uh, then we have something called uh, uh, life skill education uh, which is not uh, uh, which is not much different from the soft skill as karthik was telling us about like uh, we know uh, team uh, team mem- uh, sorry what is our team yeah team building and like working team member how to how mm, to become a team, team member yeah team spread so that's a one thing so but we talk about lot of life skills which life skills is uh, the skills that can help you to succeed in life so in when you go to a school uh, there is a lot of a lot of research going towards life skills like and there are a lot of different uh, ngos there are a lot of uh, private schools nowadays they work towards children's life skills because uh, uh, they understand that uh, just uh, sitting in front of a computer and just sitting in front of a study book or just uh, learning through books will not help cannot just help the children to succeed that is why uh, the life skill we we are created this program to teach different life skills uh, which are team uh, team spirit self awareness that how much 
how aware are you about yourself then problem solving uh, like how you use different ways to solve a problem critical thinking so we design a game that uh, that makes children use uh, different logics different things so they can improve their critical thinking and uh, and emotional resilience like uh, how 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 you can how you have you gain that spirit of not uh, giving up and uh, keep trying so that uh, so it can become more successful so there are a lot of life skills uh, uh which uh, like we have created a curriculum for this like uh, we have identified five or six life skills like self management uh teamwork uh, uh problem solving critical thinking and uh, we have it, uh, we have a lot of games through which we teach children uh about this so i'm going to as we i'm going to share this with you guys this too like how 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 do we teach children different life skills through sports so these are the three main then we have sports events uh, which is uh, no different than any other events but uh, because we are a social enterprise so whatever events we organize we ensure that uh, boys and girls they are engaging together they are uh, like uh, we organize a mixed gender kho kho tournament so we tweaked the rules in such a way that it became very competitive for boys and girls to play together so that's what we do in a sports event football academy uh, it's because uh, 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 in this football academy we we work with girls and we teach them football we teach them football and it's uh, the sport for excellence just for girls because it's girls we call we say that it's a social cause before that our program they were not engaging in any kind of sports so that's uh, one another program for us and then we have a corona virus related awareness program uh, where we like because uh, schools were locked down so we started creating online videos where children can uh, play uh, by using minimum equipments at home so they do not need equipments they can create their own balls they can create their own bat they can play hockey they can play board games and engage themselves and keep them physically and mentally healthy so that's uh, that's a very very brief at least till now i will say it's a very brief idea about what uh, what we have been doing and uh, what uh, sports for social change is about so so, uh, yeah, so, so uh, what what uh, sports do you arrange uh, for whatever children or whatever school you collaborated with which all sports yeah so uh, so see for sports for all program we don't have any particular sports so it's it's a age appropriate curriculum where we uh, we have small games like uh, like if we want to it's just like passing the balls or uh, soneri shakli or uh, if you have there's a very very small game so i'll not say particular cricket or sports we'll use uh, uh, just age appropriate physical activity games to engage children because uh, it's difficult for a lot of children to engage in this game so uh, yeah Uh, so while i was in school we used to play langdi in our school okay yeah when i was in our uh, i was in my school that was a decade ago so langdi was common at that time and we had our competition inter school okay. competition also so okay. the you could say the gender barrier or any other physical barrier would not be a part in the sports and that could also be implemented if Needed. definitely definitely so the uh, langdi game you are saying so do you think uh, it was competitive for both boys and girls to play together yes 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 so yes. uh, mm-hmm. if, if you are if you if you like, like to play langdi it is a competitive sport because there would be two teams mm-hmm. each of them would have two players who would be inside the ring and a person who would do the langdi and catch the other person you could be this game could be a time based game or you could say point wise game that mm-hmm. whom whomsoever scored the maximum point in this much time mm-hmm. or would be the winner for example there are two teams five people each uh, one would do the langdi inside the field there would be a box field uh, and two of the opponent player would be inside the ring mm-hmm. so the team who, team player who is doing the langdi would go and catch them would touch them while one foot above and one foot on the ground and he or she would catch 
to the others would tell to them then uh, the uh, other team would get a get up one point or whatever point you could decide whatever mm-hmm. you need and mm-hmm. then within 5 minutes how many points did the team collected uh, for example if i am doing langdi and i uh, i you could say uh, i catch 10 people so mm-hmm. i would get 10 points in 5 minutes so the mm-hmm. other team need other team would need 11 in points in the same 5 minute period to win just like mm-hmm. cricket mm-hmm. So very interesting yeah period, you know i'm going to look into this game I'm, can i find it on youtube yeah, yeah you could find it anywhere it is very common game in india oh. we used to play it when i when i was in school i was completely in school so we used to play every kind of sport you could think of beat lagori beat langdi beat uh, you could say goti we used to tell it के कोटी खेलते हैं यूज टू प्ले क्रिकेट बॉक्स क्रिकेट ओपन क्रिकेट एनी टाइप ऑफ क्रिकेट यूज टू प्ले फुटबॉल द ओनली थिंग आई डिज प्ले फर्स्ट वॉज वॉलीबॉल सो आई डोट नो मच अबाउट वॉलीबॉल बट आई कुड से एवरीथिंग अबाउट एनी अदर स्पोर्ट एंड माई अदर क्वेश्चन वॉज वेन यू डिसाइड द रूल दैट दिस वुड बी द कॉमन रूल्स फॉर बोथ बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स ओके so there were none of the boys who opposed that no no this is against my will or you could say suppose uh, i am good at batting okay and i used to open the inning i still open the inning so if i open the inning and you say that after four hours uh, in a five hour game if you mention the rule as in after four hours four overs only one over will be of girls wherein both the boys should get out Mm-hmm. or it's either hurt or should declare themselves yeah, as yeah. that would be of girl yeah so there were no players who objected that rule or something like that i'm just giving an example of a rule yeah that's uh, a great they, that's a, that's uh, i think that's a, that's a great example of uh, making it uh, accessible to everyone so one uh, way we do is that by redefining winning the way of winning instead of uh, redefining winning that who wins the race or who scored more we make it we will give you one point for teamwork we will give you one point for collaboration for one point for communication so that are some another interesting ways that you can change the rules and make we you select the captain that will help in decision making when as a captain in a team and he would be responsible for managing his team uh, for team management for decision making for motivating other guys in this team that could also be an additional point if you like to add in yeah. the definitely definitely great points here yeah. that's awesome thank you so so i think uh, that i don't want to stop it here uh, because uh, i think you got a brief idea i i, I i believe at least you understand a little bit about what uh, sports and for and social change is about uh, so if you don't have any question so i'll talk a little more about what we are going to do in the next session and uh, a little little small assignment for you guys so that will also help you to improve yeah. your knowledge so do you have any question no i'm good no thank you okay so the so next session we are going to talk about lot of diff, not just we are today we are talking about monkey sports work uh, uh in the next class we are going to talk about lo- other sports for social change other organization that are working in this field so so you, so my assignment for you guys is to go on the internet and find out uh, read about uh, at least three different organization uh, and get an idea uh, of uh, not just india you can look worldwide and find out three organization which are using sports to create a social change and uh, we are going to talk more about it in next session uh, so you guys can also be a part of it and talk what you have learned so i can share i will share uh, through an email i'll share a website uh, it's sports and dev where it's like a uh, very popular uh, popular platform or website where like like my organization is registered there and i think more than 800 organization from world everywhere around the world they have gone there and registered their uh, uh, organization so you can go there and you can find out
so all different kind of been work been done in africa in america us in in brazil and uh, southern america southern america and uh, you can and you can find two three interesting uh, things that interest you and uh, we'll talk more so that uh, i think uh, that will g- help you and it will also help me to gain more insight about uh, how uh, what kind of organization are there and what kind of how are they using sports to create a social change make sense yes 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 okay so so we are done for today so if you do, guys don't have any question i'm going to send you an email and i'm going to send you a recording of this uh, video today and uh, yeah so we will send the website you told right now right? yeah uh, do you want me to send it in the chat box uh, because we don't have so many people today uh, so i can yeah it is okay you could send in the chat box and yeah, i know yeah i have sent i have sent you guys the name okay Okay thank you guys for being here i hope that you guys had learned something so and i'll see you guys again on saturday maybe uh, i'll ask everyone again what time they are comfortable coming in and we can schedule do you, you guys don't have a problem right saturday and thursday for 2 6 no no it works yeah okay so before you go i just have one small question oh uh, yeah so oh, like i was going through the uh, structure of this workshop and you know you had mentioned that there would be a lot of uh, classes online sort of classes which would you know take around one or two hours per week so like is that different from what we're attending right now or do we get separate video lessons that we could you know read or see later on uh not a uh, lessons but uh, i i like uh, i have already done few in uh uh recording of videos from different entrepreneurs uh who are working okay. in the field of sports so i'm going to share it with you guys so like you can go through that and we can talk about like if you have any questions and we also going to have some live guests because before i thought that i should do a recording but i now understand it's better to make them live so that you can you guys can also ask brainstorm the person and you can ask them a lot of questions so i think that could be more useful all right Okay. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys soon. Yeah. Bye. Okay.